In this video, I show you how to remove a virus from your Windows 10 computer. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider going and leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end of the full steps of removing this virus. And let's go and get into this video. Here we are on my computer and let's go and remove this virus. So to go and remove the virus is a really great tool I recommend, which is completely free. We're just gonna go and fully scan your computer and then go and remove any viruses it goes and detects. So let's go and show you how to install this and then how to run it. So all you want to do is go and open up a web browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome, but you can use any. Then all you want to do is come to malwarebytes.com or just Google Malwarebytes. It's a great tool and it's completely free. There is a paid version, but I'll be using the free version. So once you're on the website, all you want to do is come to the top right where it says free download and go and click on it. And then it's gonna go and take you to the download page. The installer will then download. It will either be in the bottom of your browser or it's gonna go and be in the downloads folder of your file explorer. So all you want to do is go and run it. So click on it once. You'll probably get a Windows security pop-up. Unfortunately, I can't go and record that. Then once it's finished, you're gonna go and have the setup wizard. So here it is. So all you want to do is go and press install. And then as you can see, it's probably gonna be me or my family in your case. Um, you can skip this for now, I recommend. And there we go. It's not gonna go and do the full install. So you can sit back and relax while this process goes and finishes off. Once it's finished, it's gonna go and say installed successful and you can go and click on done. So then once you go and click on done, it's then gonna go and close off the Malwarebytes installer. Then Malwarebytes is gonna automatically launch as well and you can go and click get started and you can go and click on scan if you've got the virus or you can go and click on skip. But in this case, if you've got a virus, I would recommend going and scanning immediately and hopefully it's gonna go and detect it and then go and remove it. I'm gonna go and skip Malwarebytes Premium. We can go and use the 14 day premium trial and after the 14 days, it's just gonna automatically end. We won't be charged. It's just gonna automatically switch over to the free version of Malwarebytes. Here we are within Malwarebytes. So this is currently the premium version. As I just said, we do get a free 14 day trial, but the free version is gonna work absolutely fine. And that is what you'll have after this goes and finishes. The main disadvantage with the free version of Malwarebytes is it hasn't got real time protection, but that doesn't matter as you can just go and scan it regularly yourself. So when you want to go and do a scan, just go and click on scan and then it's going to go and start scanning your whole system for any viruses and that's what you need to do to go and remove the virus from your Windows 10 computer. So it may take a bit of time depending on how many files you've got and how sort of, you know, how big your hard drives are and that type of thing. But I hope you do find this video useful and that it does go and remove any virus from your computer. If it did, please go down below and consider leaving a like, subscribe for more. Peace.